Peace and blessings, brother. Love your family. Let's get in here. Let's talk. Let's talk a spell right quick. I want to have a quick conversation. I want to tell you my take and what, what I think the intelligent women are thinking right now. This is just brother love take. Come on in. I'll give you two seconds to sit on down. Two seconds to get on in here. Gather a friend. The intelligent women. Let me tell you what the intelligent women think about Kamala Harris. They know that Joe Biden picked her to get the black vote. Kamala Harris she secured the black vote for Joe Biden. She secured it for him. But what happened was, is a lot of women didn't really know nothing about Kamala Harris. So they did their homework and some research on Kamala Harris. And the intelligent women found out things that they didn't like. For instance, how, how she got in the position that she's in. The way she slept around, slept her way around to get to where she's at. Slept with Willie Brown, a married man. Then they looked into how she, could, how she conducted herself as a prosecutor of California. Did a lot of nefarious things. But yet and still, Joe Biden picked her, so the women went along with her. In hindsight, the women kind of, in my opinion, wanted to root for Kamala. Just a little bit because she was supposed to be a woman of color in the position of vice president. As time went further, time went on, they had a chance to listen to Kamala. They had a chance to hear her words. And they found out that she's a dingbat. They found out that she's unintelligent. They found out that Kamala Harris was a goofball. When they asked her serious questions, when they asked her different things that were supposed to be important, she giggled and cackled. And cackled. <laughs> she did. See, that turned the intelligent women off. So what they did, they just ignored Kamala Harris. They just ignored her. And Kamala Harris pretty much just went to the side, got her vice president check, didn't say nothing. You know what I mean? Kept, kept it um, quiet as possible. They already knew that every time they talked to her, she embarrassed the black women. See, the, the women that don't understand that, that didn't peep, that's so happy and uh, jovial, acting like, it feel like uh, uh, 08 again. They act like uh, Kamala Harris being nominated as the second coming of Christ. This is crazy. This is crazy. So what's going on now is that Kamala Harris has been put into the forefront because Joe Biden has backed out. And now she's your nominee. Problem. The problem is that the intelligent women know that she's not equipped. The intelligent women has watched her do word salad and word jumble for three and a half years. She hasn't said nothing to you at all. She hasn't spoken to the black woman. She hasn't spoken to the black man. Actually, what she said that she wasn't going to do nothing special for the black people. And she kept that promise. So, like I said, once again, we got the problem. We got a problem. The intelligent women who, who, who peeped it out know what's up. They peeped it. Then we got the ignorant women who didn't, who just like to deal with identity politics and who hate men so much that they don't care if it's, if it's a woman from the moon, they will put her in charge. That is the problem right there. We got the intelligent women over, over, over the non-intelligent women. Anybody who know that this is not a good idea, and, and guess what? She might not even make it. See, what people are not thinking about is that the Democratic Party is, is, is being held hostage by a power that you can't see. Some you can. Now, I just want to ask you a question. The toughest, roughest woman in the Democratic Party is Hillary Clinton. I'm going to call her Hillary because you know why. Now, do you think she want Kamala to be president over her? Or they're going to pull some nefarious, some type of switcher rule, some type of something going on. They're going to figure something out. Listen, hold your horses, people. This is a litmus test. All they're doing is just seeing how you, uh, let me tell you what they're doing. They're giving the black women what they want, but they're going to do the switcheroo on the other side. They know foreign leaders is not going to talk with Kamala Harris. They know that having Kamala Harris as a, as a president will make America look weak. They know this. 
They know foreign policy, foreign people is not going to deal with her. Otherwise, she would have been doing it already. See, if they was grooming her to be president, they would have already had her doing presidential stuff, and they didn't. Think about it. This is, this is something that you need to keep your eye on. Watch the play. Democrats are dirty. This is your boy. BLS all in this mess. Get down, like, share, subscribe. Hey, leave a comment. Whether you agree or not, I can take it. Let's go. BLS. Peace. And to the world of love show. The best podcast on YouTube. <laughs>